what up, what up, what up? Hey, Facebook. It's telling me, oh, there's the connection. Happy Monday, what up, honey? Time for some Valtopia TV. And we are on day number four, continuing in my amazing series, Name It and Claim It from Overflow. I'm so stoked you're here. Say hello, honey. And let me load this up and get everybody on here. Today we're talking about body memories of what was and identifying them and figuring out how to deal with that because that can fuck your shit up real bad. So hello everybody, say hello. Tell me you're here, tell me you're here on the replay. And let me load this up and share it around. I'm stoked you're here. I feel good, I went to the beach today. It is hot in Los Angeles, honey. Let me share this from a few places. Tell me how you're doing. And I really think today's topic is really powerful and isn't just for, it, it, this is for really powerful for everyone. So I, I want you to tune into this because sometimes these awarenesses are so subtle and can change your whole life and you wanna know. So let me load this up and share. I've got some amazing energy coming through for you. There's a confidence that's coming through this experience that just gets more powerful every day. And I'm so grateful for each of you that watch and share and understand this and are beginning to shift with me, my clients, my clients and celebrate, my one-to-one -one clients, my friends, my mentors. We're making these choices and this work that I talk about every time that I go live is so powerful to help you shift into such a powerful place. It changes everything. So I want you to stay and watch what I'm talking about today because today's is really good for helping you to figure out what's going on within yourself and to have the kind of success that we all want and desire and sometimes um, find ourselves looping. This is really, really good shit today. I mean, honey, it's always good shit, but you know what I'm saying. All right, so I just shared into my free group, Valtopia. You should be in there. If you're not, there's so many badasses in there. I'm sharing to my page and let's get started. Say hello if you're here with me. Let me know if you're watching the replay. Let me know what's going on. Okay, so here we go. Today we're talking about, um, we are talking, let me find the exact way I worded it so I stay in the flow of this because all of this came through me last week in such a flood of magicalness and I want you guys to hear it and see it and know it. One second. Yay. And tell me what's going on with you this Monday. How are you naming and claiming it this week? I know you guys have been watching the other shows, the other episodes that I did last week. I'm gonna be bundling it up into a powerful um, group of emails and we're gonna culminate in, a, in an experience that I haven't chosen to bring through yet and tell you guys about what it is yet because it has to, it has to be fresh and real. So here we go. Today's topic is name it and claim it from overflow. Now the idea of the, and today's is body signs of toxic memories. Ooh, let me plug this in so we don't go out. Toxic memories that are keeping you from now. Toxic memories that are keeping you now, keeping you from now, meaning if there are parts of your body when you aren't aware of your own body, how you feel in your body and the emotions that are associated with the feelings that you're having, like the sensations that you're having in your body as they lead to emotions, as they lead to you connecting into your highest sense of self and knowing about what you want for your life, uh, the constriction in your body and energy flow will actually block what you want. So it's real, you know, we all get really adept at blocking our feelings and blocking our emotions because we get taught to. I see my little kids and how they have to sit still at school and all the kids are sitting there in like the prison line when you go to see them at school. And we get taught to suppress our body feelings because of society and the way things go, right? We learn to, to tone it down, keep it down, keep it undercover. And unfortunately what happens is um, there's a whole lot of information we're missing for ourselves when we unlearn how to be in touch with ourselves. And we've got to relearn what's going on with our body, what it means for us, and it will change the dynamic of your experience right now, right now. Um, and the thing about this body awareness and memories that you might be holding on to without even knowing it is that 
uh, you often don't know that you're holding on to these energies. I can't tell you how many clients I work with where um, we unlock emotions. They didn't even know. You get so used to a certain way your body feels and so used to surviving and even thriving in conditions that are less than aligned to your best soul, aligned sensation and expansion of your body and being that it, there comes a point when that that discrepancy, that misalignment between how your body really wants to feel and how you've gotten used to feeling and, and, and you, you start wondering, this is what it looks like. Maybe you have a tight throat, throat. A lot of people come to me with a tight throat and a tight chest. Maybe you feel a pinching in your solar plexus in, the, in your mid region here. Maybe you don't feel your lower regions at all, like the root. Maybe you have no concept of what you feel like down there. That's gonna cock block you real bad if you don't know what's going on down there. And I know what that's like because when I first started my journey a few years ago from leaving the film business as a highly paid effects artist, transitioning to being a wife and a mom that I wasn't in an unhappy marriage, in an unhappy marriage, and walked away from a career and started my own business so I could be with my kids and know who I was, I did not feel most of my body. I didn't know what I felt and I didn't know what I wanted. And I certainly didn't know I was picking up on everyone else around me. So coming into awareness, we all have awareness of ourselves and others. And we all have the capability to tune into and tap into way more of our awareness and suppressing ourselves unknowingly, having subconscious constrictions in our body, that shit will hold you back. <laughs> And the, working with someone who understands how emotions and energies are tied and someone like me who can actually feel it and pinpoint it with you and say, yeah, that's a guilt. We're having some guilt here. Yeah, that's a past life thing. It's like, I know, you know. And, and talking through constrictions instantly, opening you up in one session to things you didn't even know you've been holding on to since you were a little kid or even before. Like you've actually been taught in your genetic code to constrict based around certain topics because it's conditioned and programmed into you. And you don't even know that. Don't you want to know that? Don't you want to know where you're squishing and squeezing and tightening and holding on to and it's subconscious and you don't even know it's blocking you? Come on now. Now this looks like maybe an inability to know what you want. Perhaps you're indecisive on some things. You may be really boss at deciding on some things, but there may be some areas where you don't want to touch it. You don't want to touch it with a 10 foot pole. Um, and so you find yourself looking outside of yourself for answers and solutions, because when you go to check in for yourself, you, you don't know because you haven't had that experience yet. You may be very decisive and quite the baller and quite accomplished. Thank you. When I didn't know exactly how I felt and my emotions, at that point I'd worked on two Oscar winning movies, had an MFA, made hundreds of thousand dollars, you know, I was, I was a baller. I was doing great stuff. Didn't even fucking know how I felt. Didn't know what I wanted. And I was sick inside because I couldn't feel myself and I wasn't letting my feelings process. So you can be highly successful and be totally squashing down and constricting in parts of your body and not even knowing it. And even you know, as we grow and begin to expand and do yoga and do meditation, come to know our body and come to know our emotions, there's still layers, deep layers of constriction that only come loose and open up when you do the work to find out who you are and to remember who you are and to let all of you be. Um, and another way that this can manifest that you can find out if this is you, if you're having hidden body memories that are keeping you stuck um, or not letting you advance and be all of yourself, there may be just certain things you just won't do. You know, for some people this might look like, well, I have a fear of flying or a fear of lizards or, you know, there may be some fear that you experience, but it doesn't have to even be that extreme. There may be something that you really want in your life that you've always dreamed of and it's always been there, but you just won't do it. And you know that if you could do it, it would change your life, but, but you just can't figure out why. And you've tried and you've talked to people and you've done, this is what we're talking about. This could very well open it up for you and rapidly. We're not talking like a whole long time to shift things with this. Now the cost of feeling disconnected from yourself creates a separation. It's a separation that creates feelings of being rejected, abandoned, isolated, um, unloved, fearful. And when you're not feeling the full integration of yourself um, and if parts of you are in alignment and other parts are just suppressed and not in alignment, and, um, 
you know, that blocked energy will create a lack of integrity, a lack of flow within you, and you will feel it. Without knowing it, you're going to block opportunities and experiences happening for you. And, in, and instead of allowing like the kind of experiences that will open you up, just inherently, when you don't know it, you'll just be saying, no, I can't have that, not going to do that, not, not going to do this. So what's the solution to this experience of blocking yourself? Well, the first thing that we need to do is come into deep and powerful self awareness self-awareness of what you're feeling in your body what it means for you and with a powerful method of releasing and regenerating the energy um, and the emotion that's literally trapped in your body there are literally parts of your body and brain that are addicted to that feeling and knowing that's just become so familiar to you and so for some people when we disconnect from this addiction like you literally have sensors plugged into certain situations that bring you a certain feeling that's just so known to you that when you try to get rid of it or disconnect from it, your ego brain will flip out. And that feeling, that feeling of being afraid to disconnect is what's keeping you stuck in a pattern or keeping you from expanding beyond a certain level or opening up to greater impact, more money, more love, more expansion in your life that you feel you know that you can have. You've already had a certain level of success, but why can't I get past this certain point? This is probably something to do with it. So we, we want to change our awareness of our body. We want to come into a deeper sense of knowing, and then we want to work with that emotion day to day, uh, shifting. So we have energy work that we do. We have mindset. We have different daily rituals and my clients are coming to me um, almost tight like a ball and, it, and, and through the work together, they're knowing how to identify for themselves what's in their body, knowing how to shift the energy themselves, knowing how to regenerate it into a different space and then having completely different experiences and transcending um, addictions, uh, moving into new levels. Hey Diane, allowing themselves to accomplish things they wouldn't let them before because now their body and being is open to the experience and is allowing a release of that pain. Sometimes the pain uh, and the tightness and the constriction will flush immediately. Sometimes clients pass out during sessions because the energy release is so powerful. Sometimes clients experience a 24 to 48 hour period, especially in the beginning when we're releasing these layers of feeling like maybe worse than before they felt better. But then the work afterwards is like, Val, what did you do to me? I'm doing things that I wouldn't do before. When we release the fear from our body and let a new experience come in, it does, it does, it happens, and it's so powerful. So I wanna share a couple wins. Um, one of my clients, um, I posted on my page today a testimonial from the Celebrate group. Uh, this is our monthly subscription where I go in there live almost every day on a much more intimate and personal level and do readings and connect with those of you who are participating in there. And we make our way through these types of limitations, up level, growth. You know, when you're expanding to new levels, even if you've done it before, especially if you've done it before, it's easy to forget um, the, the, the reason that you decided to shift when you're in the shit, <laughs> it's easy to forget who you are when you're in the darkness of the, gr of the growth and the rebirth that you might be going through. And it's such a much more powerful growth if you're in support and you're able to sprinkle everything you're doing with celebration and creation. And that's what we're doing in that group. Um, you, can, you can look up the link for that or I'll put it in the comments. But really what I'm, what I'm dropping every day here, with, well, every day that I go live, with so much love and excitement and joy and fuck yeah-ness, is this name it and claim it from overflow. Because this, this, these are two principles embedded just in the title. Three. First of all, you gotta name it. You gotta decide what you want and ask for it. And so if you haven't done this work of knowing what's in your body and what you feel and why, naming it can be huh, like a, an experience. Well, the people that are coming into this container are ready to fucking name it. You're ready to sit down and put it down and get to that point and claim it and state it and get out there and do it and be it. And you know that in the right energy of expansion with Shamama Val, we're gonna bring it every day. We're gonna light it the fuck up. We're going to have the impact that we desire 
because we're not going to let any fears or any sort of uh, limitations, any past memories of failures, any unknown spook us. We are going to do the work of feeling and embodying in each and every cell throughout our body from a space of pleasure and overflow and maximus, maximum connection to the divine energy of our self, our highest self, what it is to name it and claim it and bring it. This is how I've gone from a business where I didn't have anything and I just published a coloring book to making at least 5K monthly for the last almost this whole year. And you know, my first year in business, I didn't make almost anything. My second year, I didn't make too much. My third year, we're getting better. And now I'm having this regularity and it's because I'm naming it and claiming it and I'm also choosing to be in a space of overflow. Does that mean that if you looked at my situation, you would think I'm in overflow or my dad or my brother or my, you know, whoever, my family, they don't get it. But I get it and I work with people who get it. And what I'm getting is the energy, the energy of momentum and creation and understanding what I'm meant for and what's aligned to me and bringing that type of guidance through. Not the guidance, you know, from your, uh, where we are afraid and we need to see results on the outside before we create. No, we're creating from our heart and our soul and our soul guidance and trust. And I was creating this way for myself long before I ever knew the words law of attraction or spiritual woo or any of this. Long before I knew that I was fully psychic and empathic and super gifted at reading and modulating energy on all the dimensions. It was just made sense to me that you follow your passion and you just know something's for you, you're gonna bring it into the world. And you wanna be around people that are doing that. You wanna be around um, in a group and with mentors and in a collective that's gonna amp you up every day to your highest level of achievement. You wanna come into accountability every day from a perspective with people who understand energy. Now, energy is what we are. And so as I've been on this journey, I've come into the glow up. It's what I call the glow up. And the glow up is what you see here, this energy. I'm 49 years old. I've been through a lot and I'm alive and full of vitality. And that's because of the choices I make every day. And it's, it goes beyond fitness and nutrition, although I can tell you what I'm doing with those. And we do have a program coming that's gonna share some really great, super secret elements that have boosted my levels of beingness way beyond what I thought was possible and you're see you could see it and feel it from me um, but then we have mindset magic and energy mastery uh, because I am a shamama meaning I can feel empathically your energy and help you shift it and modulate it. I've worked with hundreds of entrepreneurs and people to come out of PTSD to release trauma and feelings of unworthiness and shame and guilt and fear and uh, grief and move beyond what was to what is now and what they desire fully from a soul-led perspective as in wow these are big dreams can I really do this yes you can yes you can because that's your desire and your desire was gifted you there's nobody like you the only person that could come and do and be you is you and I'm not here to tell you how to do it or what to do I'm here to sit with you and reflect back to you exactly where you are each day at your highest level of resonance. And so if I see you struggling or um, if I see you uh, mulling over a same pattern, we're gonna call it like it is and we're gonna tuck into that pattern and we're gonna shift that energetically in your body and your mind and your spirit. You're not gonna come out the other side having the same patterns of repetition. You're, you, you're gonna have a whole other experience of, of life and this particular container, I want three of you. There's only three spots, and it's gonna be like a mastermind. And we're gonna run real tight together for 90 days. And this 90 day experience is gonna be taking you into 2020. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> with the ultimate glow up, with the yoga, with the nutrition, with DNA activation and regeneration, and the Valtopio method of shift, which is fucking the bomb. I'm the excavator. I'm gonna get in there, we're gonna find out what hidden feelings what pro secret programs are running and we're gonna add all the high-level nutrition to support your body so that you won't have the relapses that maybe you have when you've tried before when you've tried to expand because we all try to expand and if we don't do it in in alignment with our body and our desires and our heart and our energy of fuck yeah then a lot of times you shrink back you know what I'm saying 
So let me make sure I'm not missing any comments here on the, hey Tara, I love you too. Hi Lisa, hey everybody. Tara says, I'm digging, un I'm digging all uncovered dark spots and aspects, shadow work, yes. It's really is either get through it or draw in it, yeah. Yeah, awareness is difficult, but that's our, our gift to come into awareness and work through the hard stuff. And I'm not afraid of you guys getting into the hard stuff. I've had clients go through the dark tunnel of creation plenty. I ain't afraid. I've gone through it so many times now that I, I, I am standing here solid as a rock with you, ready to shift into whatever you feel is coming through. And I see you as fully capable and rising up into this, what's calling you. And those of you that are drawn to me, we're, we're doing this together. This is a magical, expansive experience of epic proportions. So I'm looking forward to those of you that are gonna sign up. Um, if you are watching this live or the replay and you're like, oh my God, I want this 90 day program. I want to work with you, Val. I want to roll into 2020. I want to really, I am going to name it and claim it and be it and, and let this be a part of my life. My, I'm going to speak my truth. I'm going to trust myself. I'm going to back myself like nobody's business. I'm going to feel the energy of overflow and everything I do so that when I do make my offers, it's, it's like from another totally higher level place than I've ever been because so many parts of me are now open and expanded and I'm so much more connected to my divine connection, my, my highest vibrancy and energy. And you're, you're gonna see that it's so much easier than you thought. And a lot of the ideas of struggle and disconnection from your higher self are going to come back into flow. You're gonna have a completely different result than you've been having before. So the 90 days is, thank you for asking Tara. The 90 days, it, it is a high level program because it's super intense, okay? It's a lot of my time and it's a lot of your time. Not doing PDFs and worksheets. No, we're doing the work. We're doing the work. Like your work may be some days to go calm down and to get into resonance. And so many of us feel guilty about that shit that we don't let it happen and we keep ourselves. I did it. So you're working with a guide who's gonna know when you need to slow down or when you need to pick up. And we're gonna deal with the energy of momentum. We're gonna learn how to manage energy. You can't ever unlearn this shit. It's gonna change your whole life. So here's the thing. Uh, the 90 days is, uh, um, uh, what did I say? It's 9K paid in full and it's three, 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 three monthly pay plan. So it's a 3K monthly program. And um, it's, it's, it, it, this experience isn't just like, oh, let me go do 90 days and invest all this money and then I don't know what to do. This is about your centered balance and self resonance and expansion into your highest soul standards. This is not for someone who's gonna freak out about the expense and then quit in the middle. This is not for somebody who doesn't feel like, yeah, fuck yeah, this is for me. I'm ready to do this. I'm ready to name it and claim it. I've got my business. I'm ready to launch it to the next level. Val's my gal, I know it. Like we are doing this. This, you know, I work with people who are just awakening or who have been awakened for a long time and are just coming into higher levels of resonance and financially we're not there yet. And I understand that and I have offerings for that. This offering is, is the one that's like, we're getting in deep, there's three of us, we're going toe to toe for 90 days, and we're rolling into 2020. Your level of impact is going far beyond me. I wanna work with some big players who have a lot of people at their fingertips so we can spread the word, because what I've learned is magic. I want more people to know on the thousands and the millions how to modulate their frequency and to discern their own energy from others and to know how to get into the glow up because it fucking works. You know what I'm saying? So Tara, how does that feel for you? And, and if you're watching this and you're like, fuck you, Val, I'm not ready to pay that. If, you know, there are people in my feed that are like, that's nothing. And then there's people in my feed that are like, what the heck? I also have the Celebrate monthly subscription. It's $88 a month. It's not the same thing. And it's fucking amazing. Any access into my container is an access to the elders that I channel through. It's access to my daily life that I've created where I do go to the beach, I do meditate every day, I paint, um, I invest in high level mentors and I learn some boss shit that has changed my whole life, right? Um, yes, you surrender, okay. Well, I feel you, Tara. Well, if that's not in your flow right now, have a think about the Celebrate group because it's a beautiful space to begin to expand 
into where you will come into flow with my higher level programs. I have people coming through Celebrate and then graduating into my one-to-ones all the time. So if you're not quite ready to make that level of investment because it's making your throat tight, which I can feel, then you want to open up to the gateway, right? The, like the space where you can begin to really stoke because it's the daily process that's going to change your energy. It's when we go into a high level energy and then shrink back for long periods and keep ourselves going back into the old ways and then not letting ourselves stay into more and more resonance, we lose our momentum and we lose the energy. And so staying in a space that's going to keep that level of energy going, keep you staying focused, keep your words and your thoughts and your creation, and building timelines that you do want, not timelines that you don't want. Um, you said you're always ready. I will let God do work with me and ask what it would take me for to take for me to pay that. Okay, I got you. And you know, I have paid thousands for my mentors and I, I don't ask for anything that I haven't already paid to experience myself. And the difference is a level of um, investment and I can't take that away from you. When I made that level of investment the first time, I paid $5,000 in January of 2017 uh, and I made it back a week later. I made it back a week later. and. No one can ever take that decision to invest in myself and back in and believe myself and then the universe deciding to reward it to me a week later. I wouldn't take that away from you for anything. Um, when you decide to go into deeper levels of time and commitment and know that you're worth what you're investing in yourself and you're going to expect to get a return on your investment by asking that for your work yourself as you grow into it, you change the dynamic of what we think about money and energy. You change the dynamic of what it means to be prosperous. You get to change everything by deciding for yourself what you're going to do and be for yourself. You're going to de like detach from the old stories that it, that it is anything other than what's aligned to you as you grow and expand into your new vision. Um, okay, I love this. So thank you, everybody. Does anybody have any questions? So to sum up today's name it and claim it, if you're feeling a tightness in your throat, there's a good chance you have trouble speaking the truth to yourself and to others. And there's a really good chance if you're tuned into me, you've got some witchy background that we need to clear. Almost all my clients have some witchy clearing we need to do. We've all lived many lives. You wouldn't be in this circle and coming into your expression as an oracle or a messenger or a light worker or a dark worker or whatever method of a social change you're bringing about through your very existence and art and beingness and expression, right? And all of us can stand to lose the constrictions and markers in our DNA that tell us, hey dude, you're gonna die for doing that. So we clear that with the energy work and with the mindset work. And if you feel like you have a lot of chest heaviness, there's panic there too, same kind of stuff. Like I'm gonna die or I might get killed if I do this, I'll be isolated from the tribe. There's a whole bunch of patterns that, that we can work through that even if you've done the work, if you're still feeling that stuff in your chest, there's a good chance or anywhere in your energy, in your tightness, in your solar plexus, disconnection from your root, un inability to feel your upper chakras, whatever it is, we want to get into a, a state of just really knowing what's going on with your body energy and your emotion and letting that guide you in a much more powerful way. Tara says, I've paid a lot courses. Something in me still have to shift about money. Yes, I resonate. You know what, Tara? I think um, I invested a lot in courses myself. And um, in the beginning, I wouldn't do the work because I was too... Uh, trauma i was too much in my trauma energy now but it didn't not work it's just that i had so many layers to peel back and so much stuff to do that um it's only in this last year where i've really uh embodied higher and higher levels of resonance to my peaceful self to my blissful self to my calm self to my rich hot badass self that isn't afraid to name and claim that right and that that's come from investing a lot and doing the work. And I'm blessed that it's been able to roll forward, but there's been many moments where I didn't know how I was gonna do it and I went into debt and then paid it back and rolled it over even before I got into this business. My philosophy is that life is for living and that you have a dreams and passions calling you 
And being 49 years old and having lived out and pursued my dreams since I'm a young woman and seeing how they piece together and how some of them came together in my 40s and I didn't, like I saw it and knew it in my 20s and didn't see the fruition of it until I was in my 40s. That all came from me trusting, even when I felt scared as shit and being faithful. But now the level of work that I'm doing now it, it is so much more savvy and clued in to how energy works and how to manifest and how to trust myself and believe in myself. And I'd say that's the number one thing that happens with my clients is that you, you learn to trust yourself and back yourself no matter what. And that's priceless. That is priceless because this businesses will go up and down. What you want to come into is a level of self mastery and trust. That's the foundation for anything you do, whether it's love, business, uh, your kids, yourself, anything. So even though I may talk about business, entrepreneur, this, that, really what we're talking about is self-trust, self-resonance, balance, and being able to feel fucking kick ass no matter where you are, what you're doing, because you've learned to know and honor and love yourself deeply. And, it, and it's not just like taking a hot bath and patting yourself on the back. <laughs> We're talking about going through some gnarly releases that can feel really heavy for a minute and getting through that until you get to the other side where that's not your reality anymore. This shit that's been going on here for years that you're so used to, that you won't let go of, that you've paid thousands of dollars to try to release with therapy and whatever, meditation, and it's not working, we're gonna get to the place where you're here, where you learn to be in neutral. Sorry, got messages popping. Where you, where you get to be in a neutral state of being and then finally accept that you do indeed, in fact, get to enjoy your life experience and you are worthy of everything you've ever asked for and you do get to have it and fuck yeah, you get to show that to yourself and everyone else because you believe, because you believe and you're no longer available for this shit anymore. That's where we get. And not that it's shit. Everything that happened to you happened for exactly a reason and has shaped you to be who you are. So the perspective that I offer is one of really joyfully naming and claiming your life from a place of, fuck yeah, I got this and we're doing this. And it's not just a bypassing or um, talking shit. We're actually getting to that state of resonance in your energy field and body and being. And my gift is that I help you feel it day one. You could, you can, uh, do it if you know that you're ready to invest message me for a clarity call we can come into resonance right on the clarity call and you can see what it's like to work with someone who helps you modulate your frequency so that you then know what it feels like to not be tight anywhere in your body and feel your crown tingling with the connection of the divine and your feet running with energy through to the earth this is cosmic electricity coming through that's for you. If you're drawn to this, this is for you. And then you become activated with that same current of energy and pass it through to all your clients and your family and everything you do. It's like ding, ding, ding. It's like a light that gets you know, spread from person to person and ignited. It's an activation. So the more I do this work, um, the more I show up, the more I love it, I trust it, I believe it, and um, I'm no longer in a place where I'm like, I'm holding out and I believe and I hope. I ain't fucking hoping anymore. I believe. I believe with all my faith because I'm seeing it happening with my clients, seeing it happen with myself, and it's just about understanding the energy, getting to know your body, coming into alignment, and changing how you approach what you desire to do. It's powerful. Powerful as fuck. All right, thank you everybody for joining me today. If you guys don't have any other questions, um, reach out if you watch this and you're like, oh my God, I wanna be in your energy more. How can I work with you? Um, besides the one-to-one -one with the name it and claim it and the amazing Celebrate monthly subscription, I have special readings that I do. There's all kinds of ways to learn more about yourself. My work is about you. My work isn't about me teaching you strategies or my method of this or that. My work is about getting you highly attuned to your own self and knowing yourself so good and trusting yourself so well that you no longer need to check outside of yourself. You're tapped in fully and that is flowing through you and just filtering, illuminating everything you do. And that's when you're in overflow. <laughs> Things are just like boom, 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 boom. You feel me? Do you feel me? Yay. All right, my loves. Name it. 
and claim it from overflow. <laughs> I can't wait to have three of you in this container. I'm so thrilled and um, it's happening, honey. It's coming on in. Uh, Tara says, yes, yes, yes. Ordered manifestation of $2,000 from the universe now for my highest good. Hopefully meet you soon. Yes, maybe. Yeah, book the session because we can open up and activate. Um, and if you sign in to celebrate, there's an activation I dropped in September that is really powerful. It's several hours of content. It's all sitting there waiting for you. You could start looking at it tonight for 88 bucks and that'll keep you in our energy. There's some beautiful sisters in there. Right now, there's no men in there. Um, it's all sisters right now and you get some high vibrational loves and readings and energy guidance. I talk about what I'm doing daily and tell you the secrets right in there, right in there. That's my way of having not given it away because I can't give it away because it's so activating people get derailed and you need support so I've been kind of keeping my effect contained because it's very powerful it's very powerful to be awakened to your own uh, light and energy and realize how much you really do and can uh, shift your life because then you realize it's, it can be very painful because then you're like oh fuck I've been totally suppressing that and I didn't know and so if you're not in the right guidance with someone that guide you through to understanding, no, that's your shaping and we're gonna do this with it and it's fine. Um, you can get caught up in the, in the expansion hangover, if you will. I will put the link right now. Let me get it right now. Right now. We would love to have you in there, honey. Now this group is for celebrating. That doesn't mean you don't talk about what isn't right in your life. You talk about it in a way that we're gonna put energy towards and, and reframe and uplift and um, you know, this is where you learn to do the work for yourself. All my work is not about you becoming dependent on my amazing energy gifts. I can make you feel fabulous in an instant. I really can. I, my clients tap in all, you know, if they're in a really bad way, they, all they gotta do is message me and we get good for a second. But I'm about you learning to do that for yourself. Cause I, I want you to graduate and go on and teach this to your people. You know what I mean? We're all amazing, powerful creators and there's so much work to do. We, we don't need to get caught up in what's going on out there. We need to really own our frequency and bring our cosmic energy down through our bodies and effectuate the ripple of love and creation just through our very beingness and not cower and get shut down in fear and guilt and oppression and all the other things that take over. Fuck that shit. We're strong, we're powerful, we're rising up. Oh, your frequency supernova, there's nobody like you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.